Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The squadron strength of 42 is a magic number that Indian Air Force wants to achieve for handling two front war situation and maintain higher degree of operational readiness as well as air surveillance. In another one decade as well, Indian Air Force will not be able to achieve this number. Air Force will have to rely more on quality and capabilities of aircraft rather than quantity. Indian Air Force has adopted a doctrine of no war, no peace, which demands more intensive air patrolling. Indian Air Force at its present state and in next 10 years will be remain undersized. It cannot maintain 24 by 7 combat patrol or air defense watch given the huge geography and less squadron numbers. There has been constant strive to increase the squadron strength via indigenous and foreign fighter jets. However, India needs to fasten its acquisition process as its both adversaries are acquiring new capabilities at much faster rate. So in today's video, we are discussing about all the acquisition program of Indian Air Force and what is their current status. Indian Air Force is inducting 123 LCA Tejas in IOC, FOC and Mark 1A configuration. From the initial order of 40 LCA Tejas Mark 1, 32 has already been delivered to Indian Air Force and HL has begun the production of LCA Trainer which is expected to complete the delivery by end of financial year 2023, which will mark the completion of LCA Mark 1 order. The major order of LCA platform was inked in February 2021 for 83 Tejas Mark 1A. As per the contractual agreement, three fighter jets will be delivered in the year 2024 and remaining 80 fighters will be delivered at a rate of 16 fighter jets per year, completing its delivery by financial year 2029. In February 2023, it was also reported that Indian Air Force may get additional 50 LCA Tejas Mark 1A as a part of Mission 470. On 7th April 2023, HL has inaugurated the third assembly complex for LCA Tejas at Nasik. The new production line will further boost the production rate of LCA Tejas from 16 to more than 24 aircrafts per year. When the orders for additional 50 LCA Tejas Mark 1A is, is given, HL will be able to make use of its third production line to deliver more LCA fighter jets to Indian Air Force. 40 LCA Mark 1, 83 LCA Mark 1A, an additional order of 50 LCA Mark 1A will add 173 indigenous fighter aircrafts. The next big indigenous platform for Indian Air Force is going to be LCA Mark 2. In September 2022, the Cabinet Committee on Security has approved Rs 9,000 crore for development, testing and certification of LCA Mark II. The fighter jet is expected to roll out in 2024 after completion of air intake test certification in France by June 2023. Since the air intake of Mark II is similar to Mark I, DRDO is confident about bagging the certification and rolling out the first prototype by 2024. The first flight may take one year after the rollout of prototype. The fighter jet is reported to enter into production by 2028. Indian Air Force has committed for six squadrons of LCA Mark II. The development of LCA Mark II and technologies developed for the fighter aircraft will pave the way for fifth generation fighter jet development program AMCA. The program has already completed its critical design review and DRDO has already approached the Cabinet Committee on Security, which is chaired by Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi for approval of AMCA program. During the Defence Expo 2022, AMCA's project director Dr. A.K. Ghosh has said that the first prototype of AMCA is expected to roll out in three years and first flight could take another one year and a half. And these timelines are subject to the funding approval. Indian Air Force has committed to seven squadrons of AMCA comprising of two squadrons of Mark I and five squadrons of Mark II. The only foreign fighter aircraft to be inducted by Indian Air Force in near future is going to be via MRFA program. On 4th October 2022, the Chief of Air Staff had told media 
that the review of RFI responses from foreign OEM has been completed and Indian Air Force has finalized the ASQR or Air Staff Qualitative Requirements. During Aero India 2023, Air Marshal Naramdeshwar Tiwari, who is Deputy Chief of Air Force, had told the Hindu that Air Force is hopeful that acceptance of necessity, that is AON, for MRFA will be issued in three to four months. The AON will begin the formal procurement process, following which Indian Air Force will issue the detailed request for proposal or RFP. Once the RFP is issued for MRFA, it may take three more years to conclude the deal. Indian Air Force is seeking more commitment from OEMs for more indigenous contents and ensure that Make in India provisions are adhered by all OEMs. The Chief of Air Staff has also told that under MRFA program, Indian Air Force is looking to procure 4.5th and 5th generation fighter jets. Air Force has committed for 6 squadrons of fighter jet to be procured via MRFA program which will be by global and Make in India. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.